in 2017, I ended up getting the opportunity and got myself to a place where I could afford to get a studio, a pretty decent sized dedicated office space with multiple rooms where I had a music studio, I had a podcast studio, a storage room, a content room. There were small rooms, four small rooms, but it gave me so much flexibility, so much more freedom to create and try things and actually be loud, make noise, not really worry about neighbors because the other tenants in that office building only work certain days, certain hours. So I could really be creative with video, photo. I even did a music video with a rain machine in the parking lot. I'd be up till three, four in the morning making music loud. I'd always be up late anyway. I've been a night owl since I can remember. But now in this studio, I really was able to try new things without having any restrictions. That really changed my output for content and the level of content I was outputting. Also in 2017, I also met my good friend Amari, who has been a huge part of my music video production since then. Him being an aspiring filmmaker and cinematographer really helped elevate my productions and helped me really bring out what I had been envisioning for so many years. We've created some really great music videos on damn near zero dollar budgets. Now when I say I was able to afford this office space, I was barely able to afford it. I was still broke as hell to the point where I actually often had to pawn equipment or pawn gear in order to be able to pay for a music video that I wanted to do. And I was still always scraping by just to create the art that I loved. Most people never knew that. I never really shared with people how broke I was for how long I was so broke. It's definitely been a reality of pretty much my entire adult life of being broke and grinding hard to try to do what I can with what I can to hopefully create content and music and videos that can elevate me.